Greetings, fellow gorehounds, and welcome to another blood splattered vlog. I'm the horror guru, <laughs> and this is Count Jacula, and we just saw Knock Knock, <laughs> the movie in which John Wick sticks his wick in the wrong two girls. Um, <laughs> so uh, how you doing, man? You look like you just did you did you did you get those girls too? Because you, you look like you uh having a bad day there. <laughs> This is, what happens. this is what happens when you have the superpower to fuck girls through the computer screen. I just to tell you, man. Alright, let's get the Alright. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. So Knock Knock is the uh the new Eli Roth movie starring Keanu Reeves, in which Keanu, a nice Family man, a actually really nice family man. Yeah, 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 yeah really nice. All right, so I'm having vodka and orange juice because there's entirely too much clean living. <laughs> yes, happening. Um, a uh, nice family man <sighs> who, uh, one night when he's home alone and his family's away, uh, uh, two girls show up at his door, mm -hmm. and him being the nice guy he is, he lets them in. He lets them dry their clothes. He tries to get them an Uber driver so they can get to the party they're trying to get to. And the girls proceed to seduce him over about like the first like hour of this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. It just takes about, a long time to get to get him to give in, but they get him to give in. Yeah, and, eventually they do it. You and know? then it becomes one of the craziest home invasion movies I've seen. And I've seen a yeah. lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really <laughs> It, it it it's one of the funniest home invasion movies oh, yeah. I've seen too. There's a lot of humor. I could in this. not believe. I thought it was going to be like like super intense, like no. <laughs> fucking like the Green Inferno. But no, this is definitely like Eli Roth's funny side. There's a, side, there's a lot you know? of tongue in cheek humor in this. Like it's still like it's still oh, God, intense yeah. enough, but it's not like um. There's a movie Kidnapped, which is like a Spanish uh, home invasion movie. It was probably the most intense home invasion movie I've ever seen. It's yeah. not like mm -hmm. that. No, this is way more like. For lack of a better way of putting it, it's got like a Tales from the Crypt, mean-spirited, ghoulish humor going on. Yeah, yeah, it's like the first half of like a Tales from the Crypt, like, fucking yeah. story. Where like, these two girls, like, you know, completely entrap like an innocent man and then torture him. Absolutely. You um know? Uh, it's also a bit of a morality tale, you know, the whole, like, it doesn't matter if you're a nice, happy family man, you don't cheat on your wife like that, and you certainly don't, uh... You don't do that to your kids either, you know, making yeah, yeah. Your marriage more complicated. Exactly. Um, um, but the, it, the morality is delivered by two of the craziest bitches <laughs> yeah. I've seen in a movie in a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let me put it this way. Even the morality of the, of the movie is kind of a joke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, because you're like, wait, like... <laughs> This is not like a balanced response. No, and Keanu at all. and Keanu's character Evan kind of acknowledges this halfway through the movie, and the girls are just so crazy it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. They're like, just here to make him suffer, and it's unfair, and he's just got a deal. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, one of the things I am liking is I think this is the uh, is it the third movie that Eli Roth has worked with with Guillermo Amuedo. Probably, I, yeah, it, like might be, it, it might be the fourth actually. Oh, it might be the fourth. Uh, I think. I think he may have worked with him on Aftershock. Aftershock? But oh, that's right, sure he did. That. Yeah. yeah. So it's Aftershock, The Stranger, Green Inferno, and now Knock Knock, and they're they're a great team. Holy together. crap, they are. Especially like, especially if Eli's the one directing. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, like having having uh, Guillermo Amuedo as like a r obvious writing partner. Holy crap, that is. Absolutely. catapulting their movies into the stratosphere. Absolutely. It's one of the things where a lot of the problems you people usually have with Eli is his writing, but when he's combined with this guy, like, a lot of those problems aren't there. Yo, yeah, yeah, um, um, yeah. Like, even, even if it is still Eli writing, like, you can tell that, like, Guillermo's at least at the bare minimum making him up his well, absolutely. game. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, some of the you parts know. that feel very Eli-y is that, like, there's a there's definitely like a bit of like a juvenile sense of humor that the movie oh, itself God, yeah, has, yeah. and that's definitely Eli to the T. Like if you've seen any of his movies from Cabin Fever to Hostel to Green Inferno, he's got a bit of a juvenile sense of humor, and I kind of like it. Yeah, it turns some other people off, but eh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I, I think I think it's a lot of fun, and yeah. this movie is the the 
just completely mean spirited. Oh, sh- it holy is shit. so mean. Like, do you I, feel so bad for Keanu, even though he cheated on his wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, <laughs> oh, come on. Maybe he des- maybe he deserves to have a fight with his wife, but like, not no. this. No, not destroying not his records. Yeah, don't <laughs> destroy his records. Don't, don't wreck his wife's studio. The, like, the, the 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 house that he is he is because he, he's an architect in the movie, and part of the reason why his family is out doing their thing is that he's got to stay home and work and it's father's day sadly yeah um but he's got to work so he's staying at home and he's designing this building and the girls arrive and throughout all the chaos they destroy all the shit he's working on yeah they destroy everything you know know? so it's and that's just like the small things they do um there's a straight up rape scene in this movie yeah (laughs) um yeah yeah straight up like guy getting raped yeah which you rarely see girl raping guys in horror movies or movies period yeah and this is a case where it straight up happens and yeah and the thing the thing that's really interesting about that scene is as you pointed out like i noticed it immediately but you're like oh shit i went through the whole movie didn't realize yeah is that you're so used to the gender of a rape scene being the other way, it doesn't even register as a rape scene yeah, for yeah. a while. And plus, like, yeah. and th- even though it didn't quite register that way until like I was thinking about it afterwards, there was still a really disturbing aspect of that scene because oh, yeah. in this scene, when when he's tied to the bed and they force her, they force him to uh, fuck one of the girls, the blonde one. Um, she is dressed up in his daughter's, in his daughter's clothes, yeah. calling him daddy and telling him this story that may or may not be something she actually went through of yeah. of uh, of him coming into her to her bedroom at, at, while, while she's sleeping and fucking her while mommy's asleep. And you get the impression that maybe this is something that happened to her in the past, yeah, but you're maybe, not sure. But the, yeah, the, you, we probably need to like have the spoiler alarm right, okay. right here. Because, Spoilers. Yeah. Okay, one of the things about this movie is they do not tell you they don't give you a definitive reason why they're doing this no they hint at it a lot but they don't give you an actual reason the closest you get is basically just that hey we we obviously lure married men into infidelity and they always say no and we punish them yeah or they always say they always say always eventually give in yeah yeah oh yeah he was the only one we punish them rather he was the only one they thought was gonna say no but they never say no okay yeah um uh that's the closest you get. You don't know if there's an underlining reasoning for that. Like you could, you could like guess based on some of the things they say, like that whole story she was telling about like daddy coming into her room. You're like, did that happen to her? Or is she just making shit up? Cause she's crazy. Yeah. It's really hard to tell. It's really hard. Cause to they tell. like to play games the entire movie. Like that, like they're, they're playing like, like a game show kind of thing with him. Like, yes. Like, uh, 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 they, they lie to him and tell them they're underage for most of the movie. So he thinks he's committed pedophilia. Yeah. 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 Um, by completely yeah. unknowingly unknowingly and 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 uh they are lying to him they are actually of age but they trick him into believing it and then they try to then they punish him for a huge chunk of the movie almost hard candy style for that but it turns out they weren't so you're like how much of this is true like, yeah you have no <laughs> idea how much of what they're telling you is true and the, there's a really good chance that none of it is yeah yeah you know and oh my god and they don't really tell you much about the girls themselves no 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 oh my god like the 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 um the the two female leads holy crap they are great they make these girls so crazy and you hate them so much oh my god you hate them but you love to watch them yeah like that's what yeah. i was finding finding i'm like these two these two are nuts like super nuts not like intense nuts just like like cackling maniacs yeah like <laughs> i like the blonde in particular i kept going like oh my god like if they do half of this shit for harley quinn oh my holy god holy crap yeah there now, was a little bit of like yeah. joker and harley quinn going on with those two yeah there there is you yeah, know it's, and it's obvious that they're of... an item too yep <laughs> yeah it's obvious that the girls are like with each yeah. other on some level and so it is like kind of that Joker Harley Quinn relationship, and I'm like, except they target, you know, just they target men and they trick them into infidelity, and then they punish them, and then they disappear, and you have no idea who they were or why they did it. They just do. Yeah, <laughs> they, this is just what they do. Do you mind handing in a, a Jameson? Yeah, yeah, you got it, Dave Jameson. Let's right, yeah. throw all the alcohol fucking, into this. Yeah, video. This is a fucking drunken vlog, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> ah, whatever. Fuck it. Um. So yeah. Um. And the, and the th- and the thing is, Keanu points out, like, like he was doing everything in his power to like 
not give yeah, in. Yeah, to say no. There is a great scene where he is con- <laughs> there moving around this living room. Oh my God, the stage of the moving great. chairs. It's so good. You know, where it's just like, they get close to him. He's like, oh, let me talk to you for a little bit. Okay, I'm uncomfortable now. I'm going to move to another Move to chair. the other chair, change the topic, and then they'll find a way to make that topic slightly erotic. And it's obvious he's getting turned on, but he doesn't want to give in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, and they just and, and basically the, break him down. And the funny part is, by the point they break him down, they basically break him down by like forcing his dick in their mouth. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like straight up, they just like, all right, well, if you're not, it's gonna one of give those in, things we'll where it starts it. off rape and then becomes consensual, and then later it's straight up rape. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's like that's the thing that makes the whole scenario unfair. It is completely like, unfair. Yeah, you're um, like, wait, but it's, a, it, but it's fucking, one of those you literally forced yourself on. But him. that's the thing. That's part of what makes it such a horror movie is that it is unfair. Yeah. You know? Yeah, super unfair. Like, if you li- look, if you like Eli Roth at his meanest, which is probably Cabin Fever. Cabin Fever is probably his most mean spirited and, and his most mean spirited horror comedy. Yeah. Um, like, if you like that kind of Eli Roth, this movie is completely up your alley. Absolutely. You gotta watch with it. The, with the one exception, unlike Cabin Fever, Keanu is a really likable character. He is. In this. He is. He is, you really, like, at the beginning, I really found myself like, going, like, oh, my God, I want Dad Keanu. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keanu dad, dad looks awesome. You, you know? know, like, he's a little sexually frustrated with his wife, but it's nothing too bad. Like, yeah. it's, it's one of those, eh, she's going to come back from the trip and it'll be fine or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, which is obvious what the girls see and intentionally exploit when, when, yes. when they get in. You know, yeah, because it becomes very obvious that they have been spying on. Him. Yeah, they've been watching him since the beginning, and they make references as they go on to things that happened earlier in the movie. And you're like, oh man, how long have they been watching him? Yeah, yeah. Um, they 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 make allusions to an outside assistant, I think yes. named Eddie. Uh, I think I, something like that. It was like, oh god, what was it? I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I can't remember what the name was. But there's a point where they're putting someone, a body, in that they paper mache. Yeah, they 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 act. Well, they technically didn't kill him. He tripped and killed himself. But it's really they're they're at fault. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They they but one of those like they did everything, but actually, yeah. like bash his head against yes. the fucking pavement. And then they paper mache his body and they put him in the back of this van and they're talking about some guy who I guess is like their cleanup guy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like some dude that they just call And you're like, and man, there's this. like there's like a hidden mythology that you don't get to like really see. And that way it's almost like John Wick of all Yeah, things. yeah. You know? Yeah, like you feel like you're like you're watching like kind of like John Wick if he didn't become like this yeah. badass hitman. Absolutely. There's I, even like the relationship between him and a dog. Yeah. 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 Which 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 Linda is right. That is the cruelest part of that movie is they walk off with the dog. Yes. And you're like, at the end oh of the movie, God. at the end of the movie, spoilers, as we say, we already give you the warning. At the end of the movie, um, they bury him neck deep. <laughs> Um, and, and then thre- and then they're going to execute him, but then they don't because it's a joke. They're not going to actually execute him. Yeah. But what they did do is they filmed them raping him and put it on Facebook for all his friends and family to see. And there's this whole sequence where he's like trying to get his hand out from the dirt to turn, to, to get, to delete the, uh, the, delete uh, the video, delete yeah. the video, but he accidentally favorites it and the phone falls over and he can't reach it anymore. Yeah. 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 Which is the moment where you're like, Oh, Eli. <laughs> and he's like straight up in like one of those like tales from the crypt. I can hold my breath yeah. for a long oh, time. No. You know? And meanwhile, they're inside the house and, and they're like, like, uh, grab. They grab the dog, and they just kind of take off, like, 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 no harm, no foul. Like, yeah, yeah. And you're just like, they took the dog. Like, you thought the dog. Like, I thought the dog was gonna fucking die over the movie, but yeah. the dog survives. But it was worse because they took him. Yeah, they took the dog. <laughs> took a man. Look, you can wreck a man's marriage. You can destroy his family. You take his dog. That was mean. That was mean. That was. <laughs> God damn it. I want to knock knock two where someone gets these girls. I know. Oh God. Yeah. That would be that'd be kind of amazing. And they return the dog. Yeah. I was like, here, here's your dog. Um, uh, it's the last scene in the movie is them like taking the dog back to the house and then leaving. Absolutely. Um, in terms of like criticism, uh, the only thing I can really think of, and it's something that your wife actually pointed out, was that the way the movie ends is only really as horrifying as it is because they end it right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, because uh, really, the, Fre- vid- the Freddy's video- Nightmares, the show, did that a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're like, wait, 
10 minutes later, they're going to, ex- someone's going to get exonerated yeah. because there's obviously all this evidence to clear the man. Absolutely. In the case of this movie, um, they trash the house. Uh, they kill that one guy or kind of kill that guy or unintentionally. He's, 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 death. he's that, that's manslaughter at <laughs> yes, best. Yes. Um, uh, uh, and they frame him for killing him through text messages that they, when they yeah. get their two phones. But they leave him alive and buried neck deep. And they put that video where he's obviously tied up and like, and he's like screaming no and they're fucking him. So really, because they left him alive and buried, obviously he didn't do this because he's buried neck deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can't, can't bury yourself in the fucking sand. You can't do that to himself. And it's very easy given that video to see that he was not really willing in the scenario. I mean, you could argue that maybe it was just kinky shit. Yeah, but. yeah. Let's well, like, may- maybe his marriage and reputation yeah. are damaged. But All his property is damaged and yeah, his dog was busted stolen. Busted it. Yeah. yeah. So while it is horrifying, and he still had to go through all that, it's not quite as horrifying as just where it ends kind of implies, which is probably the one criticism I would give to the movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in many ways, that's just kind of your, that's your emotional out. Yeah. He's like, well, obviously things are going to go completely terrible for this guy. Yeah. But his life is still wrecked no matter yeah, what happens. Yeah, it's still not going to be the same. And he's still obviously fucking scarred from this because he was not in the right mental state at the end yeah. of that movie. Oh, man, there's this one like detail that happened that I saw. Um, like, throughout the whole thing, the girls are, like, drawing on shit yeah. and writing And reading messages. weird, crazy notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of them is a picture of... The, the, this guy has pictures of his family all over the place. Mm-hmm. And on one of them, the girl has scrawled, my daddy has... AIDS now. Which is a horrifying implication oh, yeah. given what happens in the movie. And I like that detail because if you catch it, it, may, it does give it an extra layer dimension. It cause, does. Because you're sitting there going like, is that another thing they made up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does one of them have AIDS or not? <laughs> or, or not. Because that, that would totally fall in line with their plan, if you want to call it a plan, because they seem to be just, just fucking with people. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, it's it's there's that ambiguity there that's really cool, yeah, yeah. and it's easy to miss that too. It is, it's, it it's, is, it's prominent it's in the background. Beautiful but it's easy little to, detail. It's easy to be like focusing on what's happening with the characters and not quite see it. Yeah, I like you know, like I just said, it is a beautiful little detail, and I found myself going, "Oh my god, that is awesome! Like that's Absolutely. so awesome to have there," and um. I really like this movie. It's I really, like really it too. good. It I was... think I like the Green Inferno a little better. But well, yeah, yeah, is... yeah, 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 yeah. But that's like <laughs> how to put it. Like that is a high bar. Yes, agreed. <laughs> agreed. That is a really high bar. Green Inferno is one of my favorite movies of the year. Yeah, so yeah. That is a really fucking high bar. But Knock Knock was a really good horror oh, movie. Oh, really? Like I, absolutely. I'm, worth I'm your so time glad money. to have Eli back directing between these two movies. And and I like. I actually, ironically, despite the fact that we had to wait for a wait through a bunch of bullshit, I'm kind of glad that we've gotten a bunch of Eli Roth movies in a row. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like. Hey man, that's like that, that. That's one of those like, hey man, would you rather like have three Coke parties each two years apart, uh-huh. or would you rather have one big Coke party that and you like, can snort you can just, all day? Like, yeah, <laughs> just like, hey man, God, um, yeah, um, Jesus, this is really good, and I don't want to give away everything. No, because no, there's so much. But, like this God. was one of the rare horror home invasion movies where, after a certain point, you have the whole setup. Obviously, he's going to meet the girls. Obviously, he's going to fuck the girls, and then obviously they're going to punish him. But after that, I no longer had any idea no, what was going to no happen. No idea where it was. <laughs> like, let me put it this way: it could have turned out Keanu Reeves was a vampire the whole yeah, time. Yeah. You would have just bought it. Absolutely, absolutely. So, like, like it's not a predictable one. No, um, not. I, I, it, but Not if you just least. heard what we said the way the movie ends and you didn't think that was the way it was going to end, then you already know how unpredictable this movie kind of is. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, the phrase free pizza. Yes. Hashtag of the year. Yes. Hashtag. Because we you were saying like you, you were seeing like free pizza in connection with the marketing of this yeah. movie. And we were like, what? I'm not even sure if it was the marketing, just the way like like someone would mention knock knock and then someone would respond with free pizza. Free pizza. <laughs> and you're just like. 
What? Yeah, yeah. That I'm like, what is that reference to? Mean. And then you get to that one scene where Keanu is breaking down, which is a really good scene for Keanu, a really good acting Oh my scene. god, yeah. Um, it was one of those things where it was clear he was really stretching his acting abilities for yeah, this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, he's just at the edge of his ability as yeah. an actor. You could tell, one of the things about Keanu is you could tell that like the thing about him is he's just good enough to hire because he's easy to work with. Yes. He easy. will try to do anything and that's his reputation. His reputation is very easy to work with. He want he wants to be challenged. He wants to do this stuff. He's not his ability is not necessarily up to snuff, but he's not going to give you any shit for yeah, trying. Yeah. Well, like like in terms of like erotic thrillers, which basically basically this is an erotic thriller home invasion movie. Like yeah. He, he's no Michael Douglas. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I would, but but I would way rather Keanu Reeves in this role than Michael well, Douglas. It was Keanu was really good in this. Like, yeah. He was really likable. He was it really was, nice. It was good that it was a guy that could do that was known for both action and comedy. Yes, yes. And him breaking down was simultaneously simultaneously tragic and just kind of funny yes um yeah <laughs> which kind of goes for the mean spirited this the mean spirited humor of this movie that like sometimes him breaking down was actually like a source of comedy in the movie um yeah, yeah. like he straight up has a moment where he does like the blonde in the horror slasher movie thing where he's running from them and he trips yeah <laughs> yeah he, he has like a ton of like dumbass moments in this movie. Yeah, like, oh, come on, man. Like, what the fuck? You know, and you can tell that some of those dumbass moments were him just being too nice, which yeah. kind of goes to why you kind of like the characters because he's, he's genuinely a he's nice genuinely guy. He's a nice guy. He's just yeah. a little sexually frustrated. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I said, deserves to have a fight with his wife, but really, that's about it absolutely you know like fight with his wife maybe divorce that might actually be going too far in this situation yeah you know but you would understand if she took it that far and one but not what happened no no oh god no <laughs> um jesus uh so knock knock um if you're an eli roth or keanu reeves fan it's definitely a must if you don't like either of those two, or you don't like one of them, you might not like the movie. Um, you definitely got to be a fan of like mean spirited humor yeah. to like this movie. So if you're like a pussy and you're like, oh, I don't like movies that are too mean, like that, yeah, don't no, fucking did, don't no, watch. This movie's really don't mean. Don't comment. You're not gonna like don't this. criticize. Don't do fucking shit. Because yeah, I'm fucking tired of listening to people go like, "Oh, the movie was mean spirited." Yes, yeah, it was. That was kind of the idea. That was the. Hey, point. let's. I got an idea. Let's criticize the movie for its aesthetic choice, as opposed to how well it succeeds. Yeah, and it does. Fucking, it does. I was engaged. It does. I was thoroughly entertained. I was creeped out. Um, <sighs> yeah. Uh, the moments where you're supposed to be like worried for his life, I was, and you feel bad. <laughs> And when you're a du you dude watching this, like you feel bad. Oh my god, that's another part you of the movie I really bad. like is that at the beginning you look at Keanu and you like him so much, you're like, oh man, dude, don't fall off that wagon. Don't yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Don't do that. But then once they start seducing him, the seduction goes so long, and it so is it is so genuinely erotic that you're like, I don't know how he can say no. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you're like you're like, would I say no? I'm like, and you're like, I. I would have to. I would hope so. I would hope so. <laughs> but, but, whoa. Yeah. Like, they take it that far. And then how immediate that that clearly becomes, like, a bad choice. Yes. With how, like, like immediately when he wakes up and he finds them and they're just straight up, like, super nuts. You're like, oh, my God, this was the worst decision than I even thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for lack of a better way of putting it, like... Despite the fact, like the the solution really is slap a bitch in the beginning. There's no other way around this because he tries every other possibility. He exhausts every possibility to say no, other than physical violence. His one weakness is he just can't say no when two girls put a dick in their mouth. I, yeah, I, 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 I can't fault a man for this. Yeah, I can't be too mad, but to say, like, I don't know. Like, let me put it this way. There'd probably be a moment where I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, and he, fuck get, he gets there. And he does and he get gets there. there. There's points where he, he does gets get really there. mad. And it's one of those things where, like, in another movie, like, his level of mad, mad would make him a little unlikable and maybe even a little misogynistic. But 
No, him not in this one. Given when he go, oh what he goes God. through and what they do, you're like, no, fuck these bitches. Like, God, what? yeah. Like, he gets to that. The thing that's, like, one of the most horrifying moments is, like, that fucking breakdown scene where he does actually reach that point of complete fucking resentful misogyny, but you're finding yourself going, I can't. Not in this scenario. Him. Not in this scenario. Yeah. Like, like if he had done that for his wife for not sleeping with him, that would oh, be. Oh yeah, that would be way out of but line. But in this scenario, these girls straight up like entrapped him. Yeah, like, they straight up entrapped him. <laughs> they straight up raped him. Yeah, they raped they him. Fucking destroyed everything. Everything he 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 owned and and his livelihood. Oh, his friend. Yeah, he <laughs> killed his friend. Like, oh my. And then they God. took his dog. They took the dog. Like, whoa. I'm not gonna get over that dog taking thing. You, you fucking cruel bitches. Cruel bitches. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Um. So yeah. Knock knock. And I feel like I should say this uh, as a married man, which is like, look, the only reason I'm not saying that I, uh, my natural inclination is to say no, never. But if I say that, I'm afraid I'm jinxing it. <laughs> Fair I enough. don't want to jinx it because, like, if for some reason that does happen, I want to be able to go, like, no, what the hell are you doing? And it's one thing if two thing. girls show up at your door looking like that, but they were all the way they were acting was really sexy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's one of those things where, like, y you find yourself going, like, because of the number of times he does say no, you find yourself going, it is unfair to entrap especially this guy to the this point level. where, the, especially when it, when it reaches the point where the only way to get him to say yes is to literally rape him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it gets to that point. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So like you know, hey, what's great about this movie? Hey, if you're a guy, this kind of like makes you confront a little bit of the monster we all are. Oh, definitely. Which obviously is part of the point of the movie, which oh, if you see it, you'll get why I say that. Absolutely. Um, if you're a girl, there's probably some catharsis in the movie a little bit. Yeah, there's probably a little <laughs> bit of catharsis. Like you know, you're either you're either going to be <laughs> mad for him because you're like, "Hey, he wasn't that Bad, or you're just gonna enjoy the crazy just girls, enjoy, just yeah. like like getting the infidel or whatever. Yeah, yeah, going. yeah, exactly. You know? You're either gonna you're either gonna enjoy because it. He, there's a part of me that even enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it's 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 one of the great things that Eli Roth does, which is which he didn't do with the Green Inferno. Green Inferno was just straight up unfair. Yeah, yeah. just straight up awful. You know, and it's sort of like, yeah, watch white people get eaten. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, but in Knock Knock, like, you're finding yourself going, wow. Um, I am simultaneously cheering and horrified yeah. as this is happening. Yeah, like, it works on both levels. Yeah, it does. It really does. It, it's kind of, I, I, I'm sure it's the movie that's going to get the less amount of attention. Oh yeah, yeah. But it the actually two. is kind it is the more nuanced film. Ironically. It's also it's also because of Keanu, the more mainstream one. Oh my like, god, you yeah. Think, you would think anyway. We'll see when the box office results come in which movie did better. Yeah, well <laughs> I'm considering since fucking Green Inferno was in theaters that well, this one it was in theaters it is in theaters apparently um, really i don't know if it's playing near us but it's oh we, i couldn't find it near us oh so. we could so find we it. saw it on vod okay you know. yeah amazon yeah. that's another thing you want to see the movie it's on amazon right now go rent it yeah 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 absolutely god damn i fucking actually really like this movie yeah i liked it too you know I and i feel and here's the thing here's my here's my male guilt happening i'm like i, I watch this movie i kind of feel a little bit bad for like this oh movie. god yeah yeah, yeah, like that's how effective it is, yeah. you know. Like if you're like, "Hey, I'm a guy, and I, I want to indulge a little bit of male guilt." Yeah, there's you a know? lot of that. Hey, in this. There's a lot there's of, a lot of, in of this that movie, this. especially when they reach the point where you're just kind of like, "I don't know if I could say that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like, because bear in mind when we say when we say, "Don't know if I could say no." They do straight up rip his pants off and stick his cock in their mouth. Yeah, and these like, are two really up. gorgeous girls who are not just gorgeous physically. Like, the way they present themselves is really sexy. Yeah, actually, actually, <laughs> I, 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 I will say this, though. The one thing that generally keeps me on straight and narrow yeah. is I'm like, hey, this is cool. And then my brain does this thing where it's like, but you'd make Linda cry. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm like, Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, no, I, I know exactly Bam! what you're talking about. Get away from I, me! I know exactly no what you're talking about, and 
in 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 my uh uh my my uh what do you call it the uh the perfect world hopefully that's hopefully yeah that. yeah yeah like i said don't want to jinx it <laughs> yeah. you know like hey there's we're men that are we're, they're monsters that assault man but like i'd like to believe that i could fucking exactly resist. and me and my wife have already made a pact which is if that happens um, she absolutely gets first kill. She probably may allow me may allow be allowed to kill both of them in retaliation, especially if for some reason they take the cat. Oh, at that point, fuck them. At that point, like <laughs> fuck them, fucking dead, skin them alive, and then bury them. In <laughs> All is forgiven. They took the cat. They took cat. No, no, <laughs> no. You wouldn't like, like no death. Kill them. Skin and bury him and salt. All right, so uh, that was our blood splattered vlog. I'm still the horror guru, and this is drunken Uncle Jackula. <laughs> and uh, uh, see, knock knock. It's pretty cool. It's a good movie. Thumbs yeah. up.